Boom! What's up everyone? And if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to smash that red subscribe button so that you're notified each time I post a new video. So let's get into the video. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today I am joined by a panel of international students. I'll give them an opportunity to introduce themselves, starting from ladies first. <laughs> Hi, my name is Andy. I am from Kenya and I'm a computer science second year student. Hi, my name is Sosha. I am from Uganda and I'm a computer science year one. Um, hi, my name is Upenyi, and we're doing computer science as well, first year. Hi, uh, I'm Nathan, I'm doing first year in computer science, and I'm from San Diego. Okay, that's amazing. As you can see, guys, I came with variety today. Okay, uh, so my first question for you guys is, like, what would you say are your essentials when it comes to packing for university, like, especially, like, coming from abroad and, like, coming to the UK? Yeah, what were your like have to um money the uk is money <laughs> it's expensive yeah. you need yeah. the money to survive but it's, uh, um what yeah it is money, it's I literally money i mean money. you're a laptop some sort of gadget i don't yeah. know because everything is like emails phone calls whatever it's stuff but um, yeah, that's i think for me personally Winter clothes. I hate the oh, cold. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't no. like the cold raincoats. Puffers. Puffers. Raincoat works. It's not sufficient yeah. enough. But I feel no, but like yeah. better than the umbrella. Yeah, yeah. 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 especially yeah. Swansea. Yeah. Especially. I bought an umbrella. Oh, my you can't God, do it. Can't. With this wind, it's not possible. Yeah, it's not possible. Yeah. My umbrella just raincoats. Huh? Like jackets. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but uh, with like winter clothes, would you say like your African winter clothes are like strong uh, enough? Nope. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> never, never. You need at least three or four just to, you know, feel the breeze. You know. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, the wind is just it just pierces through. Yeah. Okay, um, but what else, guys? Like, I feel like there's so much that like when we are coming to uni, you're like checking online and what should I not leave behind? I think. From coming home, yeah. One thing I can't live without is Sarah Is what? No, Sarah Yeah, okay. Do you guys know it? I mean, I know it. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do but, yes. but like, uh, it's one thing that you can't live without. Even when you come here, I can live without Saga, but Sarah Vita, you can't. <laughs> you can't. True. Uh, spices, bro. Maybe in the spices exactly. from home are very spices. important. How did you cope with like the food packet thing? I feel like. It's like the UK is just <laughs> um, it's just the worst it's like because you're on a diet. <laughs> literally, no, not that. If I do shopping today, I have four days to finish all that before everything gets expired. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. the worst yeah. thing ever. It's like oh my gosh, especially milk. Ru yeah, you are rushing every day. Yeah, true. That was the hardest thing to adjust to because <laughs> I used to buy food for like two weeks. Like okay, yeah, I'm good. I came here in four days. I used to do shopping again. And it's just like wow. Yeah, I agree. No way. What about your experience though, like traveling to university? How is it? I feel like I was so scared because for me it was mm. my initial like traveling alone type of thing. Mm. So how is it like traveling from your home country to the UK? I um, think <laughs> we can all agree with that. Like, mean, all right, the freedom of like no more parents. <laughs> for me, <laughs> no first of all, I came with my mom, so I didn't travel alone wow. per se. For so me, <laughs> I traveled. Doing an exam. Like, <laughs> I was doing an exam on my way to UK, so um, that was not fun at all. Ouch! <laughs> all the way. Yeah, yeah all the way. Remember, so I far, think so I have to take another train. Oh. To Germany. That's when I finished my exam. Yeah. Oh. So I was basically here, yeah, so close to here. So. I can't imagine. <laughs> The way I want to watch all the movies I can during that flight. <laughs> oh, man, I, I was so mad on the flight. <laughs> yeah, I, remember. <laughs> I remember. I was so mad. Yeah. Okay, uh, why did you guys like choose to come to the UK? To the UK or Swansea yeah. University? Okay, both. 
can explain okay. both. Yeah. Well, the UK, I would say that it wasn't my first choice, to be very honest with you. Mm-hmm. I'm more of like a Western type of food, so I like the US and Canada. Yeah, but when I, I saw this place, <laughs> when I saw here, I, I was like, okay, I can try. Thing. Like, it's going to be a different change, but yeah, yeah. I like adapting to new situations. Okay, that's I like fine. to get out of my comfort zone. Swansea, don't ask me about that. I was going on and on. <laughs> okay. Um, <coughs> this, in terms of university, this was not my first choice. Oh. It was nobody. Yeah. Uh, it was nobody. Guys, it was my first choice. Thank you. It was my first choice. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. for real. What's wrong with you? So, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway. But what's not it was, like? It was my second choice because I was like, ah, oh, there's a beach. Oh. Problem yes. is, oh, second. I can't do it. Okay. So I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no. no. Because no. that's me. Yeah. <laughs> you too, we should do it. Yeah, it's one yeah. of the same yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's actually fun. Why can't you say that? Mm. Yeah, we. Well, I think it's not like a priority. It's landlocked as well. Yeah. 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 So if you didn't learn in lower six, the, the, the pools. I don't know. Some of them are far better. That's the thing. Yeah. They don't like yeah. teach you. It's like more for people who already it's, know. It's, 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 it's like a single ah, thing. We were forced yeah. to swim. Exactly. Like it was part yeah. of school. So I'm like, why didn't you get No, that? they just throw you. Oh, usually the training is they it's throw you in water. So if you're able to float, they. They teach you how to swim. <laughs> <laughs> oh my day. No way. I can't uh, it. Okay, fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> what about you guys? Like, um, yeah, uh, for me, honestly, COVID. COVID was like the biggest mix up in choosing universities. Yeah. Um, yeah. Especially other universities in Europe. They had said they're only taking their candidates in the beginning. They said yeah. they're only taking candidates who are already in the country. And the UK was the only one who was like, yeah, sure, <laughs> we'll take international students. And I was like, I've never been to a country where everyone speaks English. So I was like, yeah, let's go ahead. That's the main reason I chose the UK. Uh-huh. Maybe just to relate to the same language. But then I came here and I learned that Wales is Welsh. <laughs> it was another language. I was like, ah, what did they do? Yeah, yeah. Same, same. yeah. I didn't know about that. Uh, okay, yeah. so um, for me, I'll say why I chose Swansea University because I was like, there's no way I'm gonna find anyone I know here. That was the biggest reason. Yeah, it's like it's it's the UK. That's one thing, right? So there's every like I can meet so many people that I know in the UK in general. But it was Wales, and then it wasn't Cardiff. It was Swansea. Like who was who was gonna be here? Yeah. And there's the beach and there's the open spaces and it's yeah, small. The spaces are big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. I feel like if you. For Swansea, which is such a small place, if you're like scared of moving, it's like less intimidating because it's not like yeah, moving to London or something like that. So, okay, okay, so you guys basically just wanted to run away from home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't shame. Okay. Uh, what was like your greatest fear though of like coming to university? Flatmates. In person lecture. <laughs> I'll be lecture. honest with you, yeah. Waking up for lectures, that was my biggest fear. Why? We did that for yeah. Yeah. No, no, like, like seven years. Yeah, this is more different no. from you doing it when you were no. still young. Exactly. Oh, I want you to have speak. freedom, so you're just gonna sleep if you don't want yeah, to. Yeah, imagine coming, waking up at seven just to travel to come to uni, and it's so cold that you're not even listening. <laughs> not, not even that, that. Not even that. For me, I took a gap year from my high school. Education. Oh, After yeah. my high school education, I took a gap year, so I had been sleeping for a whole uh, year. So when I was when I was told I, I had to go back yeah, to school, I was like, I was close. I was like, I was like, that's when the whole COVID thing. Yeah. No, it's not your handwriting, please. It was the wrong word. You still on the game? No, I'm not. Uh, no, my handwriting. You couldn't see the F, but then it was an A. Looks like a G though. A, A. Oh, let's leave the G. We take the L and we move on. Mm, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the, the biggest fear about moving to uni was just like not succeeding in the course I chose. Because originally everyone was like, do business, do business, do business. And I was like, no, I want to do what I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's like the biggest fear, but you know, that's everything. <laughs> <laughs> what was yours? What was mine? Oh, that means. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. did say something. Yeah, because I felt them like, just not getting along. Can I say this? So it's like, um, <laughs> like yeah, not getting along, having like a dirty flatmate and stuff yeah. or something like that. Because 
you'd have to live with them for at least that first semester or whatever. That would be like yeah. annoying. Because then I didn't get any time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. Okay. Uh, what about like the banking system as well? Like having your like a current account in the UK and everything. How was that process for you? Because I feel like that was like the process I was so scared about because I'd never had a bank account before. Same. Mm. Oh, for me, um, I first came here when it was like lockdown. So uh-huh. it was empty. Yeah. Like Swansea was completely empty. Yeah. So when we got into quarantine, we were like, okay, what can we do now? And we all started looking, okay, how can we get into banks and all this other stuff? When we saw, we tried to apply for student accounts. All of my classmates and I, we all do, go to client then and there. Oh. Why? Because we're international students. So oh like, okay, gosh. let's try classic account. Then what's the process between like dependent on the bank? We, we looked at it and we're like, okay, Lloyd's is the easiest because they don't ask for much. We just need yeah. a proof of address and a proof of enrollment. That's it. And that's basically it. Took like two days and I'm like, okay. Wow. Send yeah. it to my mom, like, mama, I have an account, can you send uh, money now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, the biggest problem with setting up the banks, at least when we came, it was COVID. Because yeah. Yeah. there were so many tight restrictions that you couldn't go in person to, they had to, to be like... They to appointment. Yeah, so like, and if you missed that appointment. And then there's also like, when we came, you needed a, a card to do anything. Because everyone was like, contactless, yeah. yeah. no yeah. cash. So again, we had the worst experience with banks because of COVID. I feel like that's the main reason. Yeah, yeah. and like... Just getting an appearance with a bank, like ah. for them to approve you and to say, because I don't know if many people are also applying for bank accounts, but like it yeah. takes time. Like I literally just had to go to the bank and be like, "Yeah, you sent me a message. You said I should come." And I just went in and they got yeah. the account. But yeah, because yeah, I think I even had to just use like an online one. Yeah, yeah. I remember telling you just yeah. go for an online we, one. Yeah, yeah so when, you, when you first came, everyone was like, just start online, then you go to it. And then they were also yeah. rejecting yeah. you. But, yeah. but then the problem with online is you don't know how to put, like, if you have physical money, you don't know how to put that in your oh, online. Yeah. Because yeah. I actually yeah. had to Google that. <laughs> yeah, because you had to. <laughs> I actually had to Google, how do you put in <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. not actual <laughs> bank account, then it was yeah. just a huge mess in the beginning. Another question that I have is in terms of accommodation. I know most of you guys did uni accommodation. I want to understand, like, uh, would you recommend like student accommodation <coughs> from the university for a first year, or like, you think? Okay. Yeah, first year, yes. First year, first, first, year, first, year. first year, definitely, because I felt like if I didn't go through uni accommodation, I wouldn't have met ninety percent of the friends yeah. I have today. Yeah, that's what you you really experience the first like feel of waking up in a dorm and meeting other people through like flatmates and stuff, interacting with them, yeah. and even just walking to campus. A pain is literally waking up. I have problems waking up, and I and I live like two minutes from here. <laughs> but imagine someone that has to find a bus, especially with the bus system these days. Yeah. That's a big, yeah. And then you had you as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, first you don't know which bus to get, and by the time you even get here, you're like maybe 30 minutes late, and then you're trying to look for your building as well. Yeah. So I feel like you know, just stay yeah. on campus. Yeah, for the stay on campus for sure. Okay. okay. Uh, what about like in terms of making friends as an international student? Do you guys think it was like harder because you were international, or it's you think it would have been the same even in a, like a local? I feel as though it was easier because you're international. Oh. Because like you could spot, oh, you're not from here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm like? But as well, oh. I mean, I feel, I feel like you were living in the center of Britishness. Yeah. Yeah. But for us, like I feel like that Tawe, yeah. 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 I feel like everyone there was international. Yeah, there. I think they we're did just like, like, okay. Yeah, so. That was like, it was called the international block. Yeah. Literally. Oh, it was. Mm-hmm. And when we had, when we had like, yeah, because when we had like the fire alarms and then we'd all come out, you're like, yeah. we're all international. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Which one is this one? Exactly, so. Okay, that's, that's free. Um, did you start off on campus? No. Because you've been awfully quiet. No, no, I, I came in. You came back in February. Yeah. You came in September. Yeah. Oh, that's <clears> no, maybe not September. Last October, year. October, November, summer. Yeah, but then I didn't do student accommodation. Okay. Yeah. Just went straight to town. Would you recommend that? Really? Ah. 
Okay, wait. It's, let's let's let me put this in there. In, in this case, you had us who knew mm-hmm. places. If you are coming, oh yeah, if I was coming down, and you I don't know people, nah. would you recommend? It? No, yeah, yeah. definitely not. <clears throat> okay, fair enough. Um, like in terms of your finances, because I feel like when we were back home. It wasn't your business, like how you spend the money, yeah. you know. So how did you guys manage? <laughs> okay, so I'll start. When you're in Bay, okay, when we came again, yeah. COVID time, I feel like it was way easier not to spend money because yeah. everything was closed and you're only spending your money on laundry and Tesco. at Tesco. Like period. there was nothing else because we went the core and whatever wasn't open. So yeah. then it was easy. But then yeah. now when things are opening and this town and the events, it's a bit. Just goes. Just, yeah. And soft life appears. <laughs> yeah. Your wallet <laughs> also disappears. Yeah. No, but I agree. I feel like it's hard to just like purchase. Because I feel like you guys, especially you guys, I feel like you explore the world. I'm like, how? How do you Basically, guys... we've decided that the best way to possibly potentially save money is to withdraw it keep it in a drawer like don't don't even look about look at it it's cash yeah cash with the draw you it's save it you don't yeah. use cash don't oh, yeah you that's actually because cool. here yeah. they don't use cash so like you can't actually spend it so you have to put it away it's firmly. Really and cool. then yeah. when you're like broke ah finding that drawer is nice right? it's like ah <laughs> <laughs> finding that drawer is like oh thank god it's <laughs> the only way so long as your money is just there cash. <laughs> Okay, I have another question for you guys, like in terms of responsibilities, because I feel like when we were back home, it was easy to just like wait on your parents to make yeah. like a final decision. So how have you guys found like, like that responsibility to be the person who's like, oh yes, I'm coming for this event and actually mm-hmm. showing up for those events, like being, you know, people of your word in a way. How does that be true? Sure? Oh. Sure. Like, up we do, we but do, then, but we're always late. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exhibit A. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> I feel like in the beginning it, you're all so excited to have like this full freedom, like yeah. full freedom. Yeah. But as time goes on, there are consequences. <laughs> yeah. There are very many consequences that come with it. So ah. it took maturing <laughs> on all of all parties for us to get used to it. Because yeah. wow. Like sleeping in. It's so like, easy. When it's you're so the one easy. To make the like there's no one pressuring you, especially yeah. in uni, to yeah, show up to class or to um, attend this. Like it's like it's no like, pressure no. at all. Attendance, unless you get that email. And then yeah, <laughs> <laughs> then you get the email. <laughs> email. That is no, no, to no, no, everyone. No, no, no. This this <laughs> list I've been gotten it. But you're not ready. <laughs> Both of you, both of you. I'm good, good, except for one module. I'm one not. module. <laughs> it's only right, I'm not good for. No, it's just it's one. Just ah, one. No. <laughs> it no, but like, oh, and one more. This semester has oh, yeah, been harder yeah, because, like, a lecture, the lecturers oh, yeah. who are on strike, right? Yeah. So they go on strike and they cancel the lecture. And now you only have one lecture that day, and it's like, no. do I really take a bus to just yeah. come for what now? Yeah. Yeah. That one is not Why you never go on strike? I don't uh, know why. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> you know? Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What has been your like your best experience in you? Because I feel like people have little to say on Songki. I don't know why people just like act like it's not a good place. Because it's a good place. It's a good place. Yeah, I say nothing. Why? I say anything. Guys, do you mean like it's zero, zero, like no, zero no. great okay. memorable no. experience? Swansea has so many people. Damn. I never remember my experience. Yeah, because. Yeah. We all know more. Because there's, oh. like, there's the there's the plenty of hikes we go on to. There was the kayaking. That hike day. was not fun. There was the it was for you. you. <laughs> <laughs> for you. Okay, for I feel you. like we just, especially I feel like during COVID, right? There was nothing else open, which means you had to entertain yourself in other ways. So there's way more stuff to do, like with nature and the environment. So yeah, people should do it. It's fun. It's like. Yeah, it's a good. You have to be like Swansea is, is great <laughs> if you're adventurous, like yeah. you want to do things. Yeah, you don't things that also things that don't require you to be in a building or like you know what I'm saying. Spend like, money. Like, like yeah, <laughs> things that don't require you to spend money, just like time and your energy. Even Swansea on Swansea, Swansea Wales, you have Wales. the full of Wales to go yeah. to. Yeah, so. because yeah. there's just so it's much. Money, kind of. I mean the Wales one, yeah. Transport but... and 
Yeah, totally yeah but sense, I think though. you can find yeah. charities that do stuff for free. Mm-hmm. I think like we did cycling. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, we've cycled in Nice, in forests. We've like, done paddle yeah. boarding. Yeah. That's yeah. exercise as well. Paddle boarding is fun. Yeah. yeah, she rode on a snake. Oh my yeah. god, that was. With Colin, <laughs> <Can you imagine? laughs> and, she and so she was just laughing at me the whole time. We were up a psychopath up in like Nice. Nice, the it forest. Was so nice, and then we stopped taking a pictures. Snake came. Oh my god. And then we were like, back. okay, let's go. Right, we start riding, snake, and then she rides on a snake. And I was like, thank god I was not behind you because it would have like. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. I was like, I'm so like, oh my god. Tense. <laughs> I was screaming the whole time. Um, it was so like. So you just wow. kept going. Yeah, yeah, I was screaming. I was like, oh my god, this is Stop and check on the snake. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah she yeah. was going fast. But I was so like, I'm the happy whole I wasn't time. behind her because it might have like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know you guys enjoy life to the fullest. And my question is, like, how do you balance with CrossFit? Because I feel like CrossFit don't have, like, you know, it's like there is a deadline, but then it's like. Some people can do it two minutes before, something like that. <laughs> so how do you guys balance your time in, in that regard? Honestly, I work well that's with That's the pressure. hardest one, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the hardest part about being That's here. the problem. I work well with pressure. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I, I, okay, for like, from the time to be a code crossword. So yeah. it will come out and I'll be so motivated, like I'll set my environment, my equipment, or whatever it is, yeah. and then I won't look at it. <laughs> and then <laughs> it's due, is when I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't do it. And then I'm I mean, I have due dates, like due dates, and then I set like a week reminder so that, like, okay, it's in my head. <laughs> like, I have to do this at this time. And then, mm-hmm. but you're not doing it. Yeah, so no, you but do it like, like a week before. Like, I, I, I try to. I like, I try okay. to start it, and then, like, mm-hmm. I get going and then it's before it's due. You you really start thinking like oh, I have so much time and then yeah, yeah thinking, you know, oh, it's due in two days. days. Yeah. <laughs> then two, two hours. Then you're like, oh wait, I have to do this and yeah. start doing it. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard. It's really hard. That's the hardest part about being But I feel like you need to. Like you know what you came here to do. <laughs> yeah. So when it comes down to it, you have to prioritize yourself. Yeah. Okay, I agree. Um my other question for you guys is in terms of being in university as like an international student, what are like five activities that you think like someone should definitely do if they come to the UK based on your experience? Yeah, to the UK in general. Yeah, yeah, in general. Uh, That they should do when they come to the UK. Yeah, like okay, like what were your bucket list things like? What you wanted to do when you oh, got here? Yeah. Skydiving. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a lot. There's a lot of things. But that like three. But, but I'm not scared to like do risky activities away from home because if you die, who's gonna do it? That's the hardest thing. Also, no wait. But you just said if I die, no one needs to take care of me there, and I'm dead. Like who's gonna kill me? Like you know. Why are you so dark? You know. I think. No, it's not that. It's 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 just bad. Okay, the fun fun things that you you've done, guys. Come on, I know. Okay, I would say like to Swansea, like all just all the water sports, yeah. the paddle boarding, the surfing. That like I need to do all of that before. Mm-hmm. Okay. I want to learn how to skate. Skate like ice skate, like the yeah, skate, skate, actual skate, yeah, skateboarding. Yeah, everything, all, all of all that. All the skates, yeah. Me, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just, just like I tried to research it. I really want to just kind of like just general stuff, like, nah. but it's it's hard because. Again, COVID was just cancelling all the dates. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, I can do this year. I actually really oh, want to. So bad. Yeah, for my birthday. We should do it together. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, we have the same birthday month. It's too oh, fun. Shit. Yeah, exactly. Nathan will be waiting down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a person. Yeah. I, know. <laughs> See, I, I made the rule. The God rule. made us on the ground. We should oh, not God. leave it. Oh, oh, leave the guys, no, this uh, is wrong. Like you should enjoy your life. Uh, but yeah. the yeah. thing is, what yeah. if you go skydiving? Yeah, yeah I never wondered how it's like to fly. What, what if you go skydiving? <laughs> that's the first thing on your bucket list, and then you die. Like that's your time. It's like if you live, you die. You die even if you're on the ground. If you're I'd rather be going out. To pass out and then die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're the pain. <laughs> okay. okay, um, what's like, oh yeah, what's I, I always ask this question because I just enjoy it. What's like been your most embarrassing moment in me? It has to be first hand. It has to be your embarrassment. So my embarrassment. Yeah, you can't like share someone's embarrassing moment. Uh, who did you want oh, to man. share? This yeah. one? No, I don't. Okay. <coughs> um. In uni. Yeah. 
that narrows it down. There's yeah, many, that but they. This one that you remember now. <laughs> they're not normal. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, they're definitely not normal. What do you guys mean they're not normal? Like, they're not normal. Well, you, I, can, I can say it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yo, that's a hard one. Like, I'm not gonna lie. No, I have mine. I know. Yeah, like, tell us like, mine yeah, is tell simple us, yeah, though. Tell us one. I. I'm usually late for class because uh-uh, I leave that's, on that's campus. No, that's, 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 that's not the story. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I okay, it's not up. the story. Oh. So I get in class and like the beans were right by that stand, oh, no. the, <laughs> the scanning stand. So I was I was late and I'm trying to like hurry and get in and I scanned for my card. Right as soon as I scanned it, it fell inside the bin. Oh, no. And like it was one of it wasn't even a seminar; it was a lecture room. And I was thinking, should I just walk off? But I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's my cut. <laughs> so I had to grab it from that place and like just. Wait, keep so going. people were just looking. People were just going, exactly, and the lecture was now in class. In the bed. And the worst part is like there was someone behind me who was waiting to scan their card as well. So like I didn't even. Know. I was just. That moment was just something else. That's a good moment. I'm so tired of forgetting. Is it? Me. Yeah, you forgot your bag in my house. Oh, oh yeah. Alright, I can. Alright, that one is. That's a good one. So, yeah. um, we had drinks, right? Mm-hmm. Then I went to his place with my bag and I left it at his place. Ended up my work uniform because I had to work it the next day. The next day, day yeah. yeah. Right? So, I was late for work, so I had to pass by his place and get my bag. So I went to work. Then they asked me, why are you late? Then I told them. I had to go get my bag from my friend's place, right? Then they kept quiet. Um, after a couple months, then they're like, ah, you haven't been reliable for work lately. So, and last time you gave us one of the dumbest reasons. You said something like, yo, you left your bag at your friend's place. So that was like my most embarrassing moment, but then I was being honest about it. So yeah. What about the t- no. Uh-uh, no, I'm not going to say anymore. <laughs> uh, he left his bag at my house. We yeah. had school the next day. He forgot this is the only bag he has, right? So he told me to bring it to class for him because he needs a oh. bag, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then I see him walking to class with a, what was the bag? It was a pink bag. It was a, it was a, it was a pink, pink bag. bag. A pink shopping bag. With, his, shopping with, bag. His, with, his, with his books and he was holding it like with uh, the bag. I was like, bro, what are you doing? In front of everyone. And he was late. So the lecture had started and he walked in like... <laughs> But then I, I made one. it seem like it's normal. Yeah. Do you want? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you don't have your own? I actually do. Surprisingly, I have a Nah, mine are not like. I don't know. I can't say mine. I think I'm the one who always has. You yeah, always have, yeah. but like. That's where she is. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, I've got my advice in my mind. Yes, okay. Okay, so, like... so um, you know how every international student has a BRP? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, basically, there was a night I went out, uh, I think it was one of my first weeks in Swansea, I went out to Peppermint and I had to use my BRPS ID. So that day, <clears throat> I found my, my friends that were, you know, they loved their, their drinks, their, so I drank so much that, you know, I, I didn't even remember where I put my BRP. Now the problem is, is that when you get a BRP and you lose it, yeah, it's like it's a, long yeah. it's a long process and it's expensive too. So I woke up the next morning. I was like, okay, where is it? I tried looking for it, nothing. Two days later, I'm still looking for it, nothing. So I'm like, okay, let me put it box. And then I saw to fill out this form, you have to pay seventy-five pounds. Like, Okay, first, okay, so I paid the 75, like, okay, oh, all right, there's no, there's no coming back from this, and, and it says in bold, no you can no, you can, you cannot come back from this. <laughs> it is, it is a done deal, like, if you so find no your, yeah, no refund, and they've cancelled your BRP, you have to, fi- you have to apply for a new one now. So, Whoa. the next day, I'm looking through my cupboards and all, and, a small like almost like a furniture bag and then i'm looking through and there is my brp in the room and i spent 75 pounds on the form and 125 on the appointment 
And then tags as well. Don't lose your beard. You travel to Cardiff because you can't do it in Swansea. Yeah, there's so much. So I spent 200 pounds on a car that I found the next day. That oh, one. You should have just one. Like give it like a time, like okay, if I don't find it in the next two days, so because like that's yeah, your that's... one thing that literally mm-hmm. binds you to mm-hmm. this country. Yeah. Okay, the last Hi. question. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> last question is: What would you guys like say advice like future uni students or current uni students from your experience? Just to manage your time wisely, because um, with all the freedom you have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you must be someone who goes out, make sure you have time to go to class and do your assignments yeah. and whatever you have. Okay. School first then. Focus on school first then, but no matter how easy it is to have fun, <laughs> focus on school. school. Soft life is there, but you know you need to make the Balance. distinction yeah. between the two. Mm-hmm. I think for me, the number one thing I would say to current students and future is where you come from and where you are make sure you know the difference mm-hmm. like we when we where we come from we're coming from this environment that we know right and yeah. we're used to it but like when we come into countries like the uk the us canada france germany spain we're going into a whole new environment and we may not know everything that's about that country and like how it would benefit us. So you just need to distinct distinguish the two. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Also get your yeah. I like that. One last question. How do you guys feel to be on the channel? Thank you for coming back with me. Oh, it's, it's no, a pleasure. I mean, it's not what I was expecting. What, what were you expecting? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you wanted to be quiet. I told no, you. Not I, be quiet. I, no, <laughs> it's not what I was expecting because I thought it was going to be like one of those like one on one. Yeah, like where you direct yeah. questions to one specific. Where you person. feel like you're being attacked. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I feel like you guys handled it well. And as a token of our appreciation, um, yeah, I'll just give you guys. <laughs> each thank, thank you for your you. time. I appreciate. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. And um, okay, I don't know what's going on in the background, you but <laughs> can you please send us off? So tell them to like, comment, share, subscribe, those things. Yeah, with energy, like power. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. subscribe. Exactly. That's the most important. Does it hurt? Button. Just hit the subscribe yeah, button. That's it. Long, so. That's it. Oh. Don't forget the bell too. Oh yeah, oh, the bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah, that's oh, that's <laughs> Thank you so much. I need to rush <laughs> to the bus. Oh, the bus. When was Swansea University founded? <laughs> Can I just walk it? <laughs> <laughs> She's looking for signs and wonders. When was Swansea University founded? <laughs> guys, it's literally every week. Oh no. <laughs> I think. I'm not sure. Time's up. Time's up. Thank you so much. Uh, Paper's 10,000. Paper's up.